Hello. Hello. Yes. Can you hear me? I hear you. Go ahead. You are live on air. You are a Muslim, right? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, me, okay. it's me, it's me. We, W-L-D-K-M-E. Yeah. All right. You are welcome, you my it? friend. What do you like to say to us? What do you think about what we are showing you on the screen? Uh, actually, I want to talk about other thing. like, um, okay, you're saying about this thing, like, the Islam is pagan, right? Yeah, but why you don't know? Okay, we, can, we will talk about Islam as pagan. We are coming to the topic. But what do you think about this clear contradiction? Muhammad is saying that Abraham mm -hmm. and Ishmael, they came to Mecca and they are the one actually who built the Kaaba. And the, the uh, Quran says, Allah, he gave Ibrahim a book and Ishmael is a prophet. Okay, so the verse in the front of us, chapter 34, verse number 44 says, nobody came to Mecca before Muhammad, nobody. He is the first one to warn them and he is the first one who had a book. So what do you say? Uh, I don't know. Actually, you know what, CP? Uh, I just became Muslim just before one week, so I'm just learning a lot. Oh, you became a Muslim one week ago? I just a lot of doubts in the Christianity, actually. Like, oh, it doesn't okay. make any sense at all. Hmm. So, uh, you became a, what, what you used to be, my friend? Uh, I was a Christian before, like, hmm. one week. I just became a Muslim just one did week you, before. Did you, okay, do you know anything about the book of Tormek in the Bible? Torah? Tormek, Tormek. Tormek? Hmm. No, I don't know. Okay, well, there's no such a book. So how do you claim to be Christian? A Christian, he would say to me, there's no such a book. Tormek is a food. What Tormek? So no, I thought like it's in other, some other language, but uh, uh, I know okay. what, like, what other language? Text, what other language? Like okay, so you I see, was thinking, like, uh, you know, people, people, people they make things stuff. up. And okay, I will go with you. So, okay, now you became, you, you, you left the book of Tormek and you became a Muslim. Why you became a Muslim? Because hmm. there's sex in heaven. Like, why do you say there is like no sex in heaven? Oh, because so uh, you, in so you are a, so you are a sexual man. You like sex. You like boom boom. No, and that no, make you no, a, no, no, hmm. no, no, no. It's not like that. I'm not sexual man. Like, hmm. I'm so confused. Like, because in Genesis, God is permitted. Like, it, sex is not a sin, right? So, hmm. uh, why do you say why Christianity says like there is no sex in heaven? You see, sex but is in, sex, in sex, course, sex. Okay, hold on. You are you, are you asking me or you want to talk? Okay, so you can talk. Okay. Sex is exists for a very simple reason. So man and women, they can reproduce. When God, he punished Adam and Eve, he sent them down to earth. And he said to them, you will reproduce. So the sexual joy, actually, God, he gave it to us. Because a human being, if you don't have a joy from it, he will not do it. It's, it's going to become like a job. You know, he job, he do, you go to work. So sex is an, is an effort you do. And you, the point of it is sex, which is a joy of sex. However, God's purpose is different from your purpose. God's purpose is he want to provide you family. So it's not the sex the problem. The problem is if we make our life addicted to sex. So if, if in heaven there is no children, if in heaven you will not have a children. So what this sex is about? But but it's okay to have a sex with a wife uh, for like for first joy, of all right? so, first first of uh, all in Islam you, oh, hold on hold on okay. for, first of Islam there's nothing is called having uh, sex with the wife because Islam allow you to have sex with anyone you can rent her and they call it muta this is not marriage they lie when they say the word marriage the Quran says was tamtatum bihi the one you enjoyed bihi which means the vagina so what is the marriage secondly you can have sex with your slaves with them how you can be your wife when you married him. This is a this is a wedding you, you did not attend. So how they are your wives? So we have a God. He is not promising you that okay, God he created Adam and Eve. So okay, you go back. I will make you Adam and Eve again. No, he's saying I will give you a lot of women and women you never met. And women each time you sleep with them, I will make them virgin. This is a sexual God guaranteed. There's no question about that. No, CP, I'm just uh, saying like, uh, like, sex is not sinful in the eyes of God. Uh, it, it, it's okay to have a sex like a like, like husband and wife in heaven, right? But, My friend, uh, what wife? wife what yeah. wife? Which wife you are going to go to heaven? He promised you whore, who you will have their bones through their skin. So those are not women you met. You didn't, you didn't know them. You, you, okay, have you ever heard of a God? He never said something about love. There's no love. It's just sex. 
Women who they are there, all of them, their name is Hur. So you say the word Hur, the 70, the answer. Hur, yes, we are here. Okay, so who are they, those Hur? You don't know them. They, they are not wives. They are just made for sex. What is the point of them? Sex. What is the point so of their existence? Like, uh, listen, listen, listen. Listen, sex, sex, if God, if, if this God, he care for you to make you happy. Okay, let's say you have a woman, you love her, you want to be with her. Okay, but he, he did not promise you a woman. He promised you women, a lot of, depend in the ranks you have in the heaven. The lowest ranks is 72 wives and 380,000 little boy, which is absolutely disgusting that you will abuse little children to serve me for eternity just because I'm in heaven. So to make one person happy, you make 80,000 little child slave for eternity and 72 women at least my sex is slave for eternity to make me what to make me happy where is where is, is that fair do you like to be a comp uh, uh, do you like to be one of those women in the heaven be honest no or oh, provide you no no hold on this religion provide you and like a, 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 a special privilege so you like it but the second i say to you do you like to be one of those women you said no obviously <laughs> this is a disgusting religion otherwise you will not say no you will say sure why not You know, my struggle is like, no, just don't go to like uh, in Islam, uh, uh, just come to like in Christianity. Why it's wrong to have a sex with wife in heaven? Like, okay, I will, I will explain to you. This is not about wrong. This is not about wrong. It's about that there is happiness higher than this happiness. You, first of all, this is a, this is the house of God. This is not a pimp house. God is not a pimp. Islam, God is a pimp. When I when I come to your house, imagine I go to your house and your your daughter, your sister, your mom, with my respect to them, I open the door. I say, hey. Hello, I want to invite you to my religion. I, my name is Muhammad and my God is Allah. If you believe in me, I will give you a lot of sex. Aren't you going to kick me out? No. You want to kick me out if I say that to your mom? Uh, no, if, I, if you told me like that, yeah, of course. I'd well, this is what he's saying to you. He's saying to you, believe in me, I will give you a lot of sex. And your mother, with my respect to her, she will be a sex toy. Because you just refuse to be one of those women, but your mother is a woman. So you are agreeing that your mother, with my respect to her, don't take me, I'm not trying to insult your family. Your mother now, in this yeah, case, is a sex toy. So how do you accept that? You would not accept, you just said no. So how you don't accept it yourself, you accepted your mother? Do you accept your mother to be a sex toy for somebody she never met? And she will be one of hundreds of women he will he will sleep with her so she is like eh, like a barbie those sex toys they put them in the, the, the for, for 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 the sex maniac idiot so they, they they buy barbie and they have sex with them this is exactly what allah is promising you he will make your family with my respect to them sex toys in the hand of men and you are going to have same the mother of somebody the sister of somebody and the whole which allah he just made for you to have sex with how you can accept such a garbage I think I'm wrong. Okay, so I'm do you did you decide to leave Islam, my friend? I'm so confused. Like, like even with uh, Trinity, like uh, Muslim people are always asking, like, if God is a, uh, if Jesus is a God, hmm. and if He's like in Earth, what uh, who the who are going to control this uh, whole world, like whole universe? Who is controlling who is like hmm. Trinity is like just. Confusing my friend, my, like, my friend, let, it, it let, me, let me, let like, me, uh, let me, uh, uh, let me ask you, how old, uh, how, Islam, uh, how, because Islam says like there is only one God. Okay, how old are you, if you don't mind to say? Uh, I'm 37. Okay, 37, you are a growing adult man. How some uh, foolish, no, no, hold on. Not 37, 27. 27, 27. Well, 27, when, yeah. I, when I was in your age, my friend, I don't want to uh, say what I was doing, but I, I was really no one can play with me. So let me let me let me uh, uh, tell you something here. If Jesus is a man who was controlling the world, well, Jesus is still he's here. Jesus is one of the three person in Christianity. God is one, but he is three person, which means God is always in control. God is a spirit, and that hold on, hold on. Let me explain to you. God is a spirit is more able, capable of seeing things knowing things being everywhere from a person who is a human at the same time which means when jesus was a person as a human with us in this earth 
God is still doing his work for he is in control for we have the Father in heaven and we have the Holy Spirit everywhere and that makes sense in Islam Allah is not a spirit but he is a physical being how somebody really? is a physical yeah he is a physical being he's a spirit you can search right now in Google you will find that anyone believe that Allah is a spirit he is a, he's a, he's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's not a Muslim <laughs> I don't know that. Yeah. My friends are saying like uh, it's a, it's like um, it's a spirit. Like he, he even doesn't doesn't have a spirit. Like Allah. He is not, not like my friend. Something. My friend, Allah is not a spirit, and he has no spirit. And I can show you right now. I can go right now to Mr. Google, Prophet Google, peace upon him, and I can show you the the Islamic fatwa about that. And actually, this is I think it wasn't somebody. He was debating me, and he sent the the scholars uh, to ask for fatwa. Allah is not a spirit oh, oh and they got him busted they said yeah he's right you know he's debating a Christian mm -hmm. I will put it for you on the screen I don't know if you can see the screen I will put it for you on the screen hmm? here we okay. go it says he is debating with the Christian and asking does God have a spirit the question again I am debating with the Christian and he said to me that God has a spirit hmm? Does Allah have a spirit? The answer no. The spirit, read yeah, carefully. The spirit, nothing, right? the spirit it's or nothing. soul, my friend, the read, read me on the screen. The spirit or a soul is not one of the attributes of Allah. So what kind of God this God is? He's not alive. Because you see, obviously Muhammad did not know what the spirit when when the Arab came to Muhammad and they said to him, What is the spirit? He said he went to his house. And he stayed there for a couple of weeks and then he come with the answer saying only Allah knows okay. only Allah knows I mean have you ever heard of an answer so imagine you call me and you uh, suppose the I claim that I know and then you call me and I say to you only Allah knows and, you know, okay so, so. Um, and CP I want to know like uh, Jesus called him as a prophet in Matthew 13 57 hmm. can you explain me that no problem. God is the first prophet. God himself is the first. What, what prophet mean? Uh, no, Jesus claiming himself as a prophet. My friend, like I'm asking you, what, 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 okay, what, what, what a prophet mean? Uh, man from God. No, prophet is someone who prophesy about the future, which means he tell you what is going to happen in the future. That's what the prophet. So if we can tell Jesus as a prophet? Jesus is a prophet, Jesus is a master, Jesus is a rabbi, Jesus is a priest, Jesus is God, Jesus is a man. All of those are titles of, of Jesus. So Jesus, he prophesied, he's a prophet. Jesus, he tell you the future, he's a prophet. Jesus, he can read your mind, the Quran says he's a prophet. But Jesus, he can do what nobody can do, that he's, he's God. So when the Quran says that Jesus himself is the word of God, which means he exists before he was a man as a word, and the word of God never created. And even the Muslims agree that the Quran never been created. So Jesus never been created. He is God. So when you say Jesus is a prophet, that's not against Christianity, but, 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 you, but you have to continue. Jesus is my master, my teacher, my Lord. Who is my teacher? Christ. Does that make him a school teacher? No. Who, but because the first yeah, teacher, I, I think I did. I did a mistake. Yeah, uh, I did a mistake. So you agree to leave Islam, my friend? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. You know, for you know, at the end of the day, I I'm thankful for the Lord that He sent you to me and that took your call today, and I'm happy that you called me. But now I want yeah, to be like I was so confused like for one week uh, like these people just like four or five Muslims like saying like they just quoting the uh, scripture like see uh, you, you, your Jesus is saying like he's a man he just praying to God like how how he can be like a God okay they, they I, I, like, you know I will use doesn't make any sense no, hold on hold like, on uh, how it's, can it's, uh, if God like my friend my God friend never said, like, but, sex, I, but if you sex, are but if you uh, are he was doesn't have sex and like in heaven like Something like that. So it made me so confused. My friend, we just said that we as a Christian, we believe in the Trinity. So it makes sense that the Son is speaking to the Father. That's what the prayer means. The Father. And not only that, Jesus, he, the Son of God, He is totally obedient to the Father. 
Not only he is, he prayed to the Father, he is obedient to the Father. This Christianity. So obviously those people, they don't know what Christianity is about and they are a bunch of fools. In the same time, the Quran says, Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. Allah and his angels, they are praying on the Prophet. Allah, he prayed for who? The Christian, they have a trinity. So we understand yeah, the son prayed to the father. The, okay. The yeah. So Allah, he prayed for who? So here you see the hypocrisy. And my friend, they gang against you. Like, don't associate with them unless you are ready for this. They gang. So they flood you and they try they, they try to oppress you. And then they force you to leave your, your belief. So you became a Muslim. It's a tactic they use with everybody. And that's why I say to all Christians, be aware when you send your children in early age, they can hunt them down because you did not teach them. This this person here, with my respect to his family, he's a victim of his family. They never taught him anything. He doesn't know even the book of Tormek if it exists or not. That's mean he has zero in, in understanding of Christianity. So you are a person who became in an age, but yet you did not educate yourself, my friend. And when you are ignorant, with my respect to you, I'm not calling you names. You are okay. a victim to anyone. Anyone can make you a what victim. What should I do? Educate yourself. Was... Sit here, listen with us, learn, take notes, enjoy the knowledge, and you will be knowledgeable. Me, myself, I did not learn in one day. I spent all my life reading and studying. Like, do you think I'm born with, with knowledge? No. Correct? Yeah. So this is what you need to do. Don't listen to the fool, otherwise the fool will make you a fool like him. How in the world somebody want to convince me that he have a God, but he promised me an endless penis? I mean, this is the promise alone is promising, pr proving to me that his God is a penis God. <laughs> as simple as that. How? What kind of God he promised me? Women, I will, I will see the marrow of their bones. I mean, this is alone disgusting. You know, I'm afraid actually. These people, to, these people even gave me a name. I'm here called. They give you a name as a Muslim, right? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They they asked me to say something in the something like I was thinking I was confused like for one week I, I was trying to talk with you just I got a I saw you YouTube like you are going to be live today so hmm. I just texted you like five hours before you can say it. Hmm. <laughs> so thankful. So thank you. I'm not I'm not I'm not going to deceive you again. I'm so sorry. But I'm do so you sorry. accept? Do, just, you, do you accept? I just want to ask for you. Next. Do, you do you accept Christ as your savior, my friend? Yeah, I mean, I mean to that. I'm happy for you. Be, you know, be sure you join the chat. Stay with us. If you have any questions, mm -hmm. I will be happy to answer you. But to promise me, don't listen to people before you investigate what they, what they say, including me. Including me. You have to investigate. Otherwise, there's people. Don't you believe that there's evil people exist? They are, right? Don't you believe that the sat Satan yeah, is exist? Yeah. Yes, Satan is exist. So he can use people. He can use really a mouth of people to make you believe. Jesus says, be aware of false teacher. They will come to you in what? In a clothes of a sheep. Mm -hmm. So the wisdom, it's not my wisdom. The wisdom of my, is my Lord. Read the Bible. It's amazing. The, read the Quran, how stupid it is. I will promise you big boobs. Have you ever heard of a God saying to people, I will, bring, I will give you women with big boobs? I mean, what is that? This is the I was thinking it's okay because uh, in the eyes of God, sex is okay. So no, I no, you see, this is, no, okay no, 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 no. Like sex that. is okay, but sex is okay as a side of the marriage. But we are not living for sex. We are not a bunch of horny dogs. We are not. Your wife is a human being. She is not a sex toy. So what do you mean sex is okay? Sex is okay for a purpose. Here he is not a promising you that, okay, you will have a wife and you enjoy it. No, he is talking just about her boobs. I mean, have you ever heard? Okay, so this is an insult for a human being. This is an insult to me. This is an insult to women, insult to my mother and your mother. How a person he claimed to be God. He didn't say anything to me about the women. He didn't say how nothing. He just suddenly he says, and women who have big boobs. Brother, do you like to have big boobs, brother? Sure, brother. <laughs> I like big boobs, brother. Brother, are they big booby booby? Yes, brother. Alhamdulillah, brother. I'm gonna take shahada, brother, because I like big boobies. This is God. If this is God, what what yeah. what a pimp from Las Vegas is. Even this is what pimp in Las Vegas they do. 
when I was when I was in the in the army, I used to go always to Las Vegas because the uh, the the airplane they are the one who reserve for us. And sometimes we have to sleep over as a must in Las Vegas. You go to the bathroom in the in the in the hotel, like it's a, the, the first floor is casino. So you go in the bathroom, you will find cards in the top, like when you are doing it, you know, you will find the card in front of you, so they can get customers big boobies. Our women have big boobies. This is the pimp of the. This is the card of a pimp. Call us. Fake religious. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. So you're friend. saying like a trinity is like a, a God is in one being and three in persons. My friend, is, so, is God is God is Almighty or not? He is right. So when a Muslim he says to yeah, you how God he can be one, and yet he is a three. Well, so why we call him Almighty? Almighty is a miracle. He can do whatever he wants. So if he cannot be one and three, he cannot be God. You see, when when the Quran, uh, as a as an official stupid book which is, is my joke every day, and we laugh at it. Uh, the Quran says, how Allah can have a girlfriend if you don't, uh, how Allah can have a, a son if you don't have a girlfriend? So Allah, he cannot be almighty God, for he cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend. Okay, we can ask the same question about the, the God of the Christians. The God of the Christians, he have a son, but do he have a girlfriend? No. Correct? Yeah. Why? Because he's almighty God. But Allah, he himself, he, he proved to us that he is just a man. This, this, is, this is a talk of a man. Look, this is chapter 6, verse 101. It says, to him is due the permal origin of the heaven and the earth. How can he have a son when he has no concern? Who is the one saying, how can he? Allah saying. Okay. If Allah, he is a question, so, his ability. So... What kind of God he is? He is a question, his ability. How can he? Well, and here you will see the stupidity. So how the Quran agree that Mary, she have a son, but yet she didn't have a boyfriend? <laughs> if you cannot have a son, yeah, even, you, what, even they say like uh, Jesus, no, God said to Jesus that uh, he's a big orange son and they asked me to Google uh, what is mean by big orange. Like I was Googling like it's making like offspring. They're saying like so you got had sex with Mary and you got a Jesus like that. Oh, oh, first, like, first of all, you see this is the this is the stupidity because none no Christian believe in that and even their Quran chapter nineteen verse number nineteen says exactly that Jesus is a holy son. So they are a bunch of an idiot and they are trying to take advantage of your ignorance, my friend. Let those people no, who like the word begotten, they, they just catch the word like no begotten, problem. Begotten, begotten so like okay, hold on, okay, so so, so what? So what if be, you know begotten? This is a translation of that he is he is exist, but he is not exist from birth of a woman, because Jesus is exist before his birth. Jesus said before Abraham I am. So the begotten here is their stupidity, trying to make it like okay, God he just got a son. This is not true. Jesus said, I am the Alpha, I am the Omega, which means exist from the beginning. He is the beginning. Everything was created by him and for him. So we don't have really when we say, you see, they try to play with the words so they can fool you. The Messiah is the word of God and the word of God is from the beginning exists. If you open uh, uh, the book of John, volume number one, uh, chapter number one, verse number one, it says in the beginning, it was the word. Okay, and what? And the word was with God. And who is and the word? The word became flesh. And who, and who is the word? The word is God. And then in verse number 14, it says, and the word became a flesh. So the flesh thing is just about ability of God to humble himself and come to us in this earth as a man. So what Jesus is, the Bible says that the Messiah, the Christ, is the visible image of the invisible God. So when a fool, he don't even understand his Quran, he tried to teach you his, your, his, your Bible. That is, a, that is the top foolishness. I, I want you to tell those guys who they have big mm -hmm. mouth to talk to you, say to them, if you are a brave reader, if you know what you are talking about, call this guy. Yeah, and uh, I also want to know, like, I want to ask one thing. Yeah. My friend says, like, uh, Hadith, you know Hadith? Like, yeah, mm. yeah, of course you know that. Mm. And um, he's just cherry picking it. Like, some, I, I heard, like, some uh, some Muslims, they, they just don't believe in Hadith, but they just believe in the Quran. But this guy here, 
just cherry picking hadith like if i if i show something uh, about prophet like their prophet muhammad uh, he was uh, saying like no i, I can't take this yeah, just any, taking some any, positive anything, things, but he living it's negative yeah anything will make muhammad look like a fool they refuse it anything will make him look smarter they accept it this is their hypocrisy this is this is when a person he followed the devil he pick up his cherry. You can show me any verse on the Bible. I will say I accept it. This is my book. That's it. It's, it's not about no. There's no negotiation with somebody. Believe for this my belief. I believe in the book. So for they are not truthful. They are ashamed of their prophet words. So now they start saying, Oh, I don't accept this. Oh, I accept that. As if it is yeah, a yeah. restaurant and you have a menu. But this is not a restaurant and menu. This is God religion, supposedly. Either you accept what your prophet say, or you don't accept and leave Islam. Okay, can you talk with my friend like later, maybe tomorrow? Like, any, uh, any time, like... any time. You see, this is what I do. I go live on air and I say, okay, people call me, they can call me. All right, anytime, as long as I am okay. live on air and I say my Skype is open, like the same as what happened to you, right? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes, I, uh, sometimes I delay it until I finish the the like uh, I want to uh, uh, explain a point, and then it's okay. Today, uh, now I open Skype, call me. They can call me, but trust me, they will never do. And I, I advise you not to associate with them again, for they will okay. try their best to fool you. For you are obviously not educated about the topic, and nothing wrong, by the way. I mean, all of us in certain time, in certain things, in certain way, we are ignorant. As an example, if I write now a letter in English, you will laugh at my English. I am ignorant in English, but doesn't make me bad. And doesn't make you bad too. But it make you bad if you been victim of a fool. That means you are, if a fool can fool you, how fool are you? You know what I mean? Okay. So here yeah. you need to work if in I'm yourself. Fool, like, they will fool me too. Yeah, but, but I mean, if a fool can fool you, a fool who believed that God he will give him endless penis. A fool he believed that he give, a God will give him women with big boobs. And, and, and I'm glad there are not seven nipples there. And God he will he will take us to heaven, brother. And we will spend the day drinking wine and doing <laughs> boom boom. Okay. You call Zach and Naik, Zach and Naik in heaven now. Tararan, 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 tararan. Hit the prince. I told you I'm I'm right now having sex. Uh, but Zach and Nick, can't you give me five minutes? I can't stop. I'm very horny. I'm doing boom boom. I mean, this is heaven. Imagine. This is God. You see, God who gave us all the joy we have, the joy of touch, the joy of seeing, the joy of, of testing. Can't he give us more joy higher than sex? Yes, he can. We saw nothing of joy yet. So, to make the joy of God about sex and stomach, that is from the devil. All what we need to do, me and you, we take an airplane and we go to Las Vegas and you will find a lot of whores or in the Middle East. They are, you know, in the Middle East, the whore is everywhere. But everybody is claiming that he is God angel. All of them, they pray. All of them, they grow beard. But prostitution is number one business in the Middle East. Anything else, my friend? Nothing. Like, uh, I don't want to be Islam anymore. I'm so sorry. Like, I want to ask forgiveness to God. I just want to pray a lot. Okay. Well, go, uh, go to your closet. Doubting, like, a God. Go ahead. Like, uh, for doubting my, my own God, like, on my Jesus, like, I, I was thinking, like, maybe Jesus is not a God. Like, I was so confused. If I don't talk with you, maybe they will just make make me, like, a complete Islamist, like a terrorist even, like that. Exactly. <laughs> because my, my my mind is gone like that. It, it's it's so messed up. Exactly. I, I need a Jesus, that's it. Exactly. Yes, yes. My friend, the one who saved you today is the Messiah, the Lord, not me. I have nothing to do with it. The Lord, he used us. The Thank Lord, you. The Lord is wise. The Lord, the Lord is loving. The Lord, he says, knock at my door and I will open for you. And today you knock at his door, not at my door. And he opened the door for you and he took you back. But I want you to be vigilant. You know, you to be smart. I want you to use your brain. Don't take what people say for granted. And I want you to join us every day if you can and listen more and learn more. So not only you can resist temptation of the devil, you can fight him and you can save those Muslims to accept the Messiah. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sipi. You're um, welcome.
You're welcome, my friend. Okay. Anything you want to say to people before you go about your experience? Yeah. <laughs> to Christians, just like don't Christians in like your that, Christians uh, in your age, most, even the Muslim friends, like they will just uh, like bomb you with the uh, verses. Like they will just confuse you. It happened to me actually. It so happened to me. I'm just telling you the experience, but. I think uh, if I don't have the knowledge in Christianity, I just go by faith. It's better. I just uh, believe in Jesus Christ. He's, good. He's a God. Amen. That's it. My friend, <laughs> All right. I, no, I want you not only to have faith, I want you to know, please, the Bible, the, 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 Jesus, the Messiah, he said, search the books, read the books. So we are Christians. We are not blindly following things. We are following the truth. He is the light. And the light cannot be hidden. So not only blind faith no you need to learn the messiah word will guide you because simply if you just have faith but you don't have the animation to fight the devil what is the animation is the word of god so you need to read the bible you need to educate yourself you need to read his words no i'm i'm so weak that's why i think i got deceived uh, you know yeah, i'm so weak but you that's are weak. Said, like the, it's better go by faith no you are weak my friend because you are depending on yourself only you have, you need to learn the Bible. You need to read, you need to educate yourself. So if somebody came in the future again, try to fool you, you will have an answer. You know what I mean? Okay. If a virus, if a virus comes to your, to your body, what the, what the body will do? Will say, I have faith, uh, you cannot touch I, me, or the, or, or the body I, will defend. The, the body will defend. How the body, yeah. how the body will defend? The body defend about, learn about the virus. And learn about what this virus trying to do and then the body will stop that virus will contain it how you can do that you need tools it's not just saying okay I'm a believer it's not enough my friend for still the devil is very powerful very powerful don't think that the devil devil is something he cannot play he can come to you from all doors you see devil in this case today he came to you from the door of God he did not say to you, became an atheist. No. He came to you. He says, I have better God for you. Forget about this God. This God is not true. He can use one word. So, so because you have a good heart and you want to believe in God, so the devil, he come to you from the door of God. But if you are a person who don't like to believe the devil, he will come to you from the from the door of atheism. Or maybe you are a person who worship evil. The, 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 the Satan, he will come to you and he will say to you, let's worship Satan. So he come to you from the door, which is your weakness. Where is the weakness? And this is what virus do. Virus come to attack the body when the body is weak. Otherwise, when the body is strong, virus have no place. So your body is weak because simply your soul is weak because simply you do not know God very much and you are just a Christian by belief but you don't know much about Christ so you need to educate yourself yeah okay? read the Bible join us here and you know I will be happy to answer you if you have any question in the future yeah I'm just watching like you like uh, you I just got your YouTube uh, like like two, two days before like I was watching video but I have li like this question but because nobody answered like even I, I was asking my friends but they they can't explain it like the Trinity the mm -hmm. thing and the sex thing and the something like that we are about like jesus who call him as a prophet like they, they don't explain like so clear like you so yeah well you know, thank you thank te teaching is a gift my, my my friend and god he gave us all the gift we have this is not me the lord he used us the lord the lord actually, he, he, actually he used I, was, uh, I was thinking like i want to challenge you in the in the, in the uh, trinity and uh, i was thinking like i want to challenge you in the sixth thing but when you speak uh, uh, it's nothing is coming in my mind like it makes sense when you talk like, yeah, that's it. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Take care.